Hello. Do you uh, do this every day in the mirror? This is called mascara. Today, I'm going to teach you about beauty, beautiful vocabulary. The first one that I said is mascara. We use this on our eyelashes. Now, it's very funny because when we do this, we always have to open our mouth. Guess what? We can do it without opening our mouth too, but maybe we are afraid that we will <laughs> poke ourselves in the eye. I'm not too sure, ladies. So if you're interested in makeup or cosmetics, this lesson's for you. Let's begin. <clears throat> Here I have a list of verbs we use, and here are some nouns. So let's begin with the verbs. Put on or apply. These two verbs are the same. We use these when we talk about makeup. So you can put on mascara. So you're going to take your mascara, doo -doo -doo -doo, and you're going to put it on or apply it. Now, if you look at my beautiful face here, the mascara will go on your eyelashes. You have to be very, very careful. You have to say eyelash is, not eyelash. Eyelash is one. You, I guarantee, do not put mascara on one eyelash. It would almost be impossible. You'd have to very care. It's not going to happen. So. On our eyelashes, we put on or apply, they're the same, mascara. It makes our eyelashes longer and bigger, so you can wink more at people. Wink, wink. Um, the next thing that maybe you wear, if you're a lady, maybe if you're a man you wear this too, I don't know, is eyeshadow. Now, <clears throat> there are many, many, many different colors of eyeshadow. This one happens to have blue, green, hmm, some other colors. Um, we also get with the eyeshadow a little brush, so you can brush on the eyeshadow. You can use your finger, doesn't matter really. Um, I'm very sure that professional makeup artists would have very special brushes. Um, that would cost a lot of money. I am not a professional makeup artist, so I'm not too sure about the different kinds of brushes that one would apply mascara or eyeshadow with, but I do know that it adds color to your eyelids. So, um, underneath your eyelashes are the skin here, which are your eyelids. Um, you can paint them whatever color you'd like, okay? It's up to you. Purple, you want purple? Um, so we put on or apply mascara, eyeshadow, and then eyeliner. Now, eyeliner looks like a pencil, but it isn't. This is not eyeliner. I just don't have any eyeliner. But it, it would look like a pencil. And all you're going to do is take it and you're going to actually line the outside of your eyes. Don't put it in your eye, it's going to hurt again. So with the mascara for your eyelashes, the eyeshadow that will go on your eyelids or the skin above your eyes, and the eyeliner will go around the top and bottom of your eyes. It just makes your eyes look bigger. Do my eyes look bigger? That might work too. Um, moving on from the eyes, we're going to move down under the eyes. Now, ladies, let's say one night you are out partying talking or drinking coffee a little bit too late. 
you wake up the next morning, you look in the mirror, and it looks like you are very, very tired. Your eyes maybe at the bottom here are puffy. We have an idiom or an expression for that. Very strange, but we call it bags under your eyes. Bags. Now, it's not a shopping bag. You're not shopping at night. You're not doing internet shopping. Bags just means it's really full under your eyes. So maybe when you wake up in the morning, you kind of have something that looks like this. You think, how am I going to get to work with bags under my eyes? Well, we have the magic of the makeup industry of something called concealer. Now, a concealer basically will erase the bags under your eyes and it will make your skin tone an even color. So if you have freckles, I have freckles. Freckles are little dots on your face and you don't like them. You can use concealer to cover or hide, conceal your freckles. Or if you have a zit, <sighs> what's a zit? A zit is when you get a red point or a dot on your face. Um, we call this, the slang word for it is zit. But in a more medical term, and you can have many zits, don't worry, is acne. So acne is a skin condition. Um, a lot of teenagers, so uh, people that are aged 12 till maybe 18, it's really common to have acne or zits. Um, so the concealer will hide the zits on your face, hopefully, okay? Um, <clears throat> now we're going into a very kind of crazy Little strange, I think, subject. Let's do it. We're talking about eyebrows. Funny story. One time, a student said, Teacher, teacher, you do not have eyebrows. I said, I sure do have eyebrows. So I pulled one out and I gave it to him. Now, it's very difficult to see my eyebrows because they're blonde. Um, but most people have very dark or black eyebrows. And sometimes, if you have very dark and black eyebrows, we need to make them look better. So, first of all, eyebrows are the hairs above your eyes. Um, they're going to look like this. <clears throat> Some people have hair in the middle above their nose that kind of makes it look like one eyebrow. We have a slang word for this. It's called a unibrow. <laughs> so uni means one, so unibrow. So to help you reduce your unibrow factor, we have some magic, some makeup beauty magic tips. I have here a box of eyebrow wax. Oh, yes. So eyebrow wax is basically a very sticky substance. It's actually a wax, like we would use for a candle. And you heat this, so you put it in the microwave or, I don't know, make it, I get a lighter. And <clears throat> you actually put the wax hot onto your eyebrows. Then you take a piece of cloth and you stick it onto your eye. You have to wait a couple seconds and then you rip it off. <gasps> ah! It hurts. It really, really hurts. But it does a really good job. So what you can do is you can wax your eyebrows. Now, wax is a verb and it's also a noun. So, you can say, I wax my eyebrows. Another thing that you can do is, uh-oh, oh, these things, 
These are called tweezers. 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 Tweezers, we're going to use the verb pluck. Please be very careful with your P. Pluck. Okay? So pluck means you actually take the hair and you rip it out. And then you take it and you rip it out again. It hurts as well. Eyebrows are a very sensitive part of your face and it really hurts, I think, anything you try and do to them. But the process of using tweezers and plucking your eyebrows or waxing your eyebrows, the purpose of this is to actually get rid of doo -doo -doo -doo, your unibrow. Sometimes people go a little too far. I hate to say it, but I have seen some people who have their eyebrows completely removed and they get a tattoo. Mm -hmm. And the tattoo is a line. Personally, I think it looks unnatural and everyone looks angry all the time if you just have one line whew, across your face. Um, it's your choice. If you'd like to get a tattoo on your eyebrows, go for it. It's probably painful. Speaking of pain, the last <clears throat> verb that I get to teach you about your eyebrows is something called thread. Okay? Um, thread is a verb. We usually use it in the ing form. Um, I think it originated in the Middle East because one time when I was in the Indian uh, neighborhood of Toronto, they had a sign that said, eyebrow threading, five dollars. Five dollars? I like five dollars. Maybe I should get my eyebrows thread. I don't know what that is. My best friend, thank you, said, Go, 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 do it, Ronnie. It'd be great. You'll love it. It looks great. It looks awesome. I was like, oh, okay. Five dollars. I lay down in a chair. A lady took two pieces of thread. So thread is like a uh, thick string. And hmm, I don't know how she did it. But she took these two little pieces of string and she ripped off my eyebrows. And she ripped off the other part of my eyebrow. It was very, very, very painful. Apparently it's one of the best techniques to get rid of the unibrow and to shape your eyebrows. I think I will stick to the good old plucking. How about you? What do you do to keep your face beautiful? Men, do you have a nose? Mm-hmm, I think you do. Women, we have a nose as well. However, Men have a curious, curious thing called hair, nose hair. And what happens as men get older is their nose hair begins to grow out of their nose. So maybe you're looking at your father or your grandfather or your boyfriend or your husband. You're like, ah, 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 ah. you have a nose hair coming out of your nose. Ladies, grab your tweezers, pluck those nose hairs. I promise it does not hurt. Yeah, okay, gentlemen, it does not hurt. It's just, it doesn't hurt. You're men. You don't even feel pain. So grab the tweezers, pluck out your nose hair. Make sure that your eyebrows are nice and neat. Apply or put on some mascara eyeshadow or eyeliner to your eyes and hide those unsightly bags with some concealer. Are you beautiful? I think you're beautiful without makeup, but this is a lesson for you. Goodbye.